After four decades in business, tonight is the last call at Sundance Steakhouse and Saloon in Fort Collins. The owner made the hard decision to no longer continue with their lease. Denver 7's Maggie Walensky shows us there is still time for you to get one last dance in before they close for good. There are some places that never get old. I've been coming to the Sundance since uh, 1996. And I started coming here in 82 when they opened. Sundance Steakhouse and Saloon is one of them. It feels the same. <laughs> it looks the same pretty much. Whether you are in cowboy boots or not, there's a Western welcome waiting inside. How you guys doing? I know it sounds cheesy, but it's kind of like that bar that everyone knows your name. Now first, you have to be 21 to get in. There's no age limit on this dance floor. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised the dance floor is still here because I wore it out twice. I think we have seen so many things in 42 years. I mean, if these walls could talk, obviously, there's a lot of things they should keep to themselves. The building itself, though, is no longer in its heyday. It's amazing that it's had such a long tenure, um, but that comes with 42 years of wear and tear, and the building shows that. The owner says the time has finally come to close the doors for good. It's simply too expensive to keep the lease. We're just not able to maintain a successful business if we don't have the property that's able to sustain it as well. As for these cowboys and cowgirls, there's <laughs> many, many stories held within these walls. Because of you guys, we have everlasting friendships from all over the world. Along with a hope that not all good things have to come to an end. I'll keep in touch with you, let you know as we move forward. In Fort Collins, Always take care. Maggie Walansky, Denver 7. Fort Collins also saying goodbye to another local favorite just up the road from the saloon, B&B Pickle Barrel Deli announced their immediate closure on Facebook last week. The owner cited economic troubles, but does hope that it can be reopened someday by someone else.